Hi everyone, it's Michelle. Welcome back. So today I thought I would run through my empties uh, for the month again. I, um, as you, as a lot of you know, I am sort of working through um, a bunch of skincare that I've, you know, had half used or three quarter used. So I have quite a bit of skincare. I have a few makeup items and some body products. So let's jump right in and get started. The first uh, item is a body product and it is the Kate Somerville Exfolicate Body. I have talked about this product before. I really love this for, um, you know, exfoliating the body in the shower. It is both a um, physical and chemical exfoliant and um, I like using this a couple days a week in the shower. Uh, I would definitely repurchase this, although I have a couple other products I need to finish before I do that. Um, I love this product actually. Um, I'm not crazy about her exfoliate for the face. I think it's too rough for my skin personally, but the body one is great and I love that it comes in a tube. I do not like having jars of body scrubs in my shower because it's just, they're too messy, they get, it's just, I'm not, that's not who I am. I like things in a tube and this, uh, this is a great product. I would definitely repurchase this. I also finished up a uh, shower gel and this is, this is my favorite line of shower gels. I've talked about them before. It's by Organic Surge. Um, you can pick these up at TJ Maxx. They are $4.99 for a 8.3 fluid ounce tube of them. Again, I love that it's in a tube. Uh, this one was the Sweet Blossom Soothing Shower Gel, which was very nice. Um, so for those of you who aren't familiar with this brand, it's a, um, I don't know technically if it's organic, although it's called Organic Surge, but they are free from SLS, parabens, sy synthetic fragrance and colors, that kind of thing. So um, the fragrance in them is natural. Um, this had uh, peach extract and almond essential oils to calm, nourish, and protect. I really enjoyed this one if you can find it. It's the soothing and for winter it was perfect. It's still very lightweight um, and although these don't have, uh, yeah this smells really nice, uh, SLS in them, they still are, they still foam a little um, but they're very non-drying. Love it. And like I said, you can pick them up at TJ Maxx. I can almost always find them in my TJ Maxx. Although there is a website as well if you don't have a TJ Maxx near you or you don't have any luck, although they're not quite as affordable there. So I will link that below uh, in case you don't have somewhere where you can get them and you want to try them. I think they run like 11 or $12 on the website, um, but they're like half that price if you can find them at um, TJ Maxx. Uh, the next item is a hair product, which I have talked about this before as well, and this is a hair mask by Enjoy. Um, this is one of my favorite hair masks that I use on my hair. Um, it's very smoothing um, on the hair. So a couple times a week I will put, put a mask on my hair while I'm in the shower just to help, you know, protect it and, you know, heal it from all the damage that I do to it. Um, this says intensive smoothing mask for enriching dry and unruly hair, leaves hair soft and manageable. It's a very nice mask, doesn't feel like it weighs the hair down. This is one of those masks that, um, you know, when you rinse it off, in the shower your hair doesn't feel super soft, so it's not coating the hair with anything, but um, when you dry your hair, it's very, it feels, you know, I didn't use it today, but your hair feels very smooth and silky and it's, uh, if you if you tend to get frizzies and flyaways, you might want to try this. It's a really nice mask, um, and it pH balances the hair as well. Uh, okay, so now I'm going to get into my skincare that I used up. And again, I typically wouldn't have this much used up. However, you know, I'm sort of on a mission to use up all the open containers of items that I've uh, had sitting around. So the first item is a Chantecaille Bamboo and Hibiscus Exfoliating Cream comes in a tube like this. This is something that I use in the shower a couple times a week on my face. Um, it, uh, it's very, it has a, a little bit of a manual, like a physical exfoliator, but not, not much. It's not like uh, my skin is very sensitive and I can use this. Um, this says our biomedic peeling peptides help to break apart the bonds of dead skin cells while hibiscus and bamboo particles. So that's what you're feeling works synergistically to remove these cells and other impurities, revealing softer, more radiant skin. This is very, very nice. I would definitely repurchase this. It's not inexpensive, but um, it works really well. I have some other ones I have to work through first. Um, and if you have sensitive skin, this might be one you want to try because it's, um, it's, a, you know, it's both a physical 
exfoliator and a chemical exfoliator, but it's very gentle on the skin. So loved that. I'll stick with my Chantecaille products. Um, I also used up the Chantecaille Bio Lifting Mask. So I use this about once a week. You just sort of slather it all over the skin and then let it sit for a while and then wash it off. Um, this is a really nice mask. It is, um, many Chantecaille products are based on rose um, and this is very heavily rose scented, which isn't my favorite, but I will say the Chantecaille rose scent is a nice rose scent. It's not synthetic. So that didn't bother me. Um, do I think this was lifting? Um, I think it might have been slightly, I think I might have saw some slight lifting, but again, you have to use it on a very regular basis to see that. And, you know, it's not going to be a face lift in a jar, but if you're looking for a beautiful mask um, that will, you know, plump the skin and, and make your skin feel a little lifted, this is a really nice one. And I can't remember how much it was, but if, if I'm not mistaken, this isn't one of those crazy expensive masks. Mm. Yeah, I think it was, I don't know. I'll put the price here. <laughs> I don't think it was crazy expensive, though. Uh, another mask that I finished up is the Colleen Rothschild, Colleen Rothschild Clarifying Detox Mask. It comes in a jar like this. This is the uh, greenish gray one. This is, okay, so if you have oily skin, this is a great mask. If you have acneic skin, I think this is a fantastic mask. For me, because I have mature skin, I didn't care for using this all over my face, but I will tell you that since about last late summer, I had like this massive hormonal situation where my face was, just this whole area of my face was like constantly broken out. And um, so I would use this as a spot treatment on there. And what's nice about this is it does, you know, it detoxes the skin and sort of cleans the pores. And when you wipe it off, your skin feels amazingly smooth, but not all dry and tight, which I like. So um, this is a really nice mask. If you have uh, like an oily T-zone, it would be great to use on your T-zone. Or like I said, if you have acneic or oily skin, I think this is a fantastic mask. Uh, I would definitely repurchase this, but I would only use it again for spot treating my breakout situation. Um, here's another mask. This, is, or this isn't a mask. This is actually the Lift Lab Purify and Clarify Daily Cleanser, which can also be used... I don't know if it's going to be because of the light. This can also be used as a detoxifying mask, which is how I used it. So I do not recommend this as a daily cleanser unless you have oily skin because for me if I tried to use this every day it's just too much it's too drying on the skin it's too effective at what it does but what I liked to use it for was if I were gonna do um, like the lifting mask or you know some a sleeping mask or something I would use this first to sort of uh, really cleanse the skin and detoxify the skin and then I would go in with whatever mask I was going to use and, and because the skin is so clean and so you know ready to absorb something um, I felt like whatever I was using after this did work better so um, I did find a way to use it I would not repurchase this I do love this though if you have uh, like I said oily skin or acne prone skin this is fantastic if you have mature skin or dry skin, I'm not sure this is the right product for you. <clears throat> That's just my opinion. Um, you guys know I love my Lift Lab products, but not that one. Um, I used up my, this is probably my all time favorite cleanser, um, and it is the Sisley Cleansing Milk with White Lily for dry and sensitive skin. This is the perfect cleanser for winter time for me. It's very gentle on the skin, but it will remove all of my makeup. Now, I don't remove my eye makeup with it, um, but this is wonderful. It, it, gets, it takes all of your makeup off, but it doesn't dry the skin or strip the skin or anything like that. So this is something um, I would definitely repurchase. Let's see, it says, Clean, cleans deeply yet gently, removes makeup and impurities, leaves skin clean, fresh, supple, and glowing. This is a beautiful, beautiful cleanser. It is, you know, it's a high price cleanser. It's a Sisley product, <clears throat> but I would still buy it again for using in the winter time on my skin. I love this. Okay, uh, I have one more 
thing and then some makeup items. So I finished up my <laughs> La Mer uh, lip balm. This is just a like a clear lip balm that you know comes in a little tub. This is a very expensive product. Um, a lot of people really love it. I actually did enjoy using this product very very much. Would I repurchase it? I don't know if I would. It's um. It's a little minty smelling, which didn't bother me at all, but um, it's a very expensive product and I, I'm not sure I thought it did anything more than any of my other lip products, lip moisturizers have done for my lips, um, and it's very expensive. So I'm not sure I would purchase this again on a regular basis, but if you, if you want like a treat for yourself or whatever, I mean this is a petroleum based product, you know, it's, you know, it's basically amped up Vaseline for your lips and um, at that price point. I'm not sure it's worth it, but it's a lovely product to use. It really is. Again, I'm not sure I'd repurchase it though. Okay, let's jump into some makeup products. I used up um, a deluxe size of the Le Metier de Beauté Pauvierge, the anti their tinted moisturizer. So this is a lovely tinted moisturizer. I have it in the color too. Um, this is basically a tinted moisturizer with a lot of really good skin treatment in it. it. I believe it has a retinol in it. Um, mine doesn't have any information on it because it's a deluxe sample. But this lasted me a good long while. Um, this is an expensive product so if I had to say, I, I don't know that I would buy it on a regular basis but it is very nice. This makes your, if you are looking for something to moisturize the skin, give it very sheer, it's very sheer coverage um, and you know give you a very glowy complexion this is very very glowy so this was nice to use um, but um, you know it you it's like hundred and seventy five dollars for a two ounce tube of it so it's pricey but um, you know you could try it if you loved it it might be worth it for you I'm not sure it's worth it for me but whenever they have you know a buy some get a deluxe I love to get the deluxe because this is really great to use uh, okay, I went through a couple of mascaras. I finished up my Urban Decay Perversion Mascara. Um, this is a really nice mascara. Here's what I'll say. It, it has a sort of a big fat brush. This mascara is, you know, it makes your uh, lashes full and long and it's a really nice, it's super black. Here's my issue with it. I mean, I loved it. Um, but it's very wet and heavy and the longer I had it it didn't get drier it just got heavier and thicker so um, I still used it because I love how your lashes come out but it takes a lot of work the longer you use it in my opinion for me because you know my lashes are hard to curl and anything that weighs them down I've got to be careful with so I had to work with this to um, get the results I wanted but it's really nice it really is a like gives you wow lashes kind of mascara. I used up a uh, trial size of the Guerlain Maxi Lash. This is one of my all-time favorite mascaras. I've talked about it before. And lastly, I finished up my Chanel uh, Corrector Perfection Concealer. So this is my this is pro this is my Holy Grail concealer for under eye, and you can use it anywhere else on your face that you want to. Um, this one's all dried up and gone, as you can see, um, and I have repurchased this. Again, no matter what I try from a concealer perspective, I always come back to this one. You know, and it runs in the I think it's right around forty dollars, but for me it'll last me six months. So and it, it wears nice and long. It doesn't really settle too much in my um, in my fine lines. You know everything settles slightly but it isn't like you know this is like really emphasizes them or anything so I always come back to this I wear the color 31 which is beige rose I like that it has sort of a pinky undertone and it helps um, brighten my under eyes without being too bright um, so yeah I would definitely I've already repurchased this this is a this is a holy grail product for me so that is it for my empties I'm uh, I'm quickly working through all of my sort of half used skincare. I've got a quite a, I've probably a couple more months worth of stuff before I get down to just uh, back to where I wanted to be which was just to have the products I'm working on and not have a big back stock of things. So we're getting close to that. So um, I would love to hear what you guys used up this month um, and anything that you're sort of trying
trying to use that isn't going anywhere and that kind of thing. But that is it for today. Um, I hope everybody's having a fantastic day and I will talk to you all again soon.